Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can integrate our Seam Stack with Duo's uh, MFA authentication logs. Now, Duo is a popular MFA service that we do see a lot of our clients take advantage of. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Duo, but we do see a lot of our clients taking advantage of it and was an integration that we wanted to add into the Seam Stack. So, what we're gonna show you guys in this video is how we can actually use Copilot to deploy the Duo integration. So this will give us our dashboard, our uh, things needed within Greylog, and allow us to inject Duo authentications from their API. So stick around and we'll go ahead and jump into it. And first things first, you will need to of course have a Duo account um, and you will need to set proper permission details to the API key that you generate. So I'm not gonna go through that whole process here, um, but we do have a readme to help you guys uh, through that process. And of course you can use Duo's uh, documentation as well. Once I have uh, generated my API creds and I'm ready to enable this integration within my Seam stack, I'm gonna go into my customers tab. I'm gonna select the customer that I want to enable this integration for. Here, I'll just select my YouTube a prereq which i demonstrated in the last video which i'll i'll link to in in this video as well is to make sure that your event shipper is configured and verified uh, this is actually how we will ingest the logs into the seam stack uh, we'll have a module which we'll deploy here in a second which will ingest the logs from duo's api endpoints but then we need to get them into the seam stack and that is what this event shipper is going to take advantage of so I'll go back into my customers here. I'll select my details for my YouTube customer. I'll select my third party integrations. I'll go ahead and select add integrations. I'll go through my little catalog here and scroll down to the duo. I'll select that, hit next. And now here we'll have to input our API host name, our integration key, and then our secret key. And these will be values that you get back from uh, Duo when you create the API. So I'll go ahead and add my API host name, which is gonna be something that Duo provides to us, our integration key, and then also the secret key um, that I received back from generating the API. So I'll go ahead and hit submit. Uh, once that's submitted, we'll then be able to deploy uh, the Duo integration. So I'll go ahead and select deploy here. And we see that our provisioning has been provisioned successfully. So what exactly happened under the hood? Well, if I go into Greylog here, we should see that a new index has been created for our Duo events. Uh, since I called this YouTube, it'll be down one of these later pages. I need to clean this up. <laughs> here we see that our Duo uh, index has been created for our Duo events. So that looks good. And then we should also have our stream created as well. Here we can see that our stream has been created. If we look at our stream rules, which will route these Duo events um, into the correct index have also been applied. So we see our integration must, must match Duo. Now we can use this same uh, module that we'll deploy here in a second for all of our customers that may have a Duo MFA within their environment. That's looking good, but now let's go ahead and actually add the module into uh, Copilot, which actually has the logic built in to ingest the logs uh, from Duo. What I'm gonna do is open my terminal here. I'm gonna bring down Copilot uh, with just Docker Compose down. I'm also gonna just run a Docker Compose pool just to make sure I have the latest update. And yep, and I do. So I've got Copilot completely updated, but we still need to add in our module. So I'm gonna open my Docker Compose file. And similar to what we did with like the Copilot AI module, we will add in our new Copilot Duo module. So I can actually copy this Nuclei one, um, which I actually haven't done a video for that yet, but I'll plan to do uh, get to that soon. And we're gonna replace this with Duo. And the image that I'm gonna grab that we're hosting for you guys is also gonna be Duo. So I save that and then run a docker compose up.d. Uh, docker will now grab the image, which actually holds uh, the module logic. If I do a uh, docker ps, just to make sure that this guy is up and running and everything looks good, I can hit this guy with the docker logs. And we can see that the application is up and running. So everything looks good. Now what we can go ahead and actually try uh, this integration. Another feature that I've actually highlighted is the scheduler. So what, uh, scheduler, <laughs> um, when we did the provisioning of Duo, we also included 
uh, a, a scheduled job to to automatically invoke uh, the duo integration every 15 minutes. So if I go ahead and move my banner, uh, it'll be just to the, the very right of the screen. But here we do see that our new uh, scheduled job has been added. Here we see the agent sync that's running every 15 minutes. I can hover over this to see when the next time it'll run. So it'll run at 1013 while it's currently my time here, but I'll go ahead and manually invoke this so I can make sure that the integration is working correctly. If I run it once, um, we see a job is executed successfully. So that looks good. Let me go into my YouTube uh, Duo stream and see if we got some data. And here, uh, within the last 15 minutes uh, of Duo, we have uh, one event. We verified that the log is coming in successfully. So that's good. Now, if I also pop into Grafana here, um, we've also provided a dashboard for you guys. So if I go into my dashboards uh, under my duo folder, so you'll see this new duo folder in this duo. I'll go ahead and select that. Um, here we've provided a dashboard uh, to highlight the duo events coming in. Uh, Copilot is going to give you guys the dashboard, uh, the streams, the index, and then it's also going to manage uh, always running the collection of the duo events. So you won't have to manually run this anytime you want it. It's going to do that for you guys automatically. Future modules uh, like Huntress, Mimecast uh, will operate in a similar manner. Besides actually setting up and deploying the module itself, the other uh, really crucial piece to this is our uh, event shipper, because that's how we're actually going to get the logs that we receive from the various API services into our Seam stack. This helps you guys onboard uh, Duo events into your Seam stack uh, very easily without much uh, work on you to get it set up and running. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I will see you guys in the next one.